basically today I decided I was going to make a tutorial on how to program MIDI lighting triggers using just Logic X and my DMX 2.0. Uh, for the most part, I haven't seen a lot of tutorials online on how to do this, and for a while it frustrated me. Um, the only alternative I saw online was using um, uh, DMX IS, I believe the name of the uh, hardware is. But, you know, after a bit of just kind of trial and error, I realized that you can actually have Logic trigger your lighting settings in my DMX 2.0 all internally. It's just a matter of having the proper presets. So the first thing you're going to want to do is start by going to the Apple symbol over here. Or rather, let me rephrase that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your apps, and then you're going to go to Other. You're going to hit Audio MIDI Setup. Then from there, you're going to go to Window, Show MIDI Studio. And then you're going to see, well, this should be called the IAC driver initially. Um, but what happens is you go in, and the first thing you want to do is click uh, Devices Online. This is basically going to tell the system that whenever you're using MIDI in uh, Logic that it should shoot it outwards. Um, so you click devices on, you can rename it, that sort of thing. Um, it's going to automatically default as MIDI uh, in and MIDI out as one. Once that's done, hit apply and hit close. Once you do that, next thing you want to do is you're going to open up Logic. Now I have my backing track file right over here. Actually, I think I can drag that over here for you so you can see. Um, so basically, what you'll want to do next is go to track, new track, then you're going to create an external MIDI. You choose your outputs. It's, if you haven't changed the name, it's going to say IEC driver. Uh, IEC driver. Um, I changed my logic to uh, my DMX and I set it as one. A quick thing that's important, important for you to know is that when you do do this you want to make sure that your record feature is off. The reason being is uh, there's an option in Logic where if the record button is on any type of external communication that you could be making um, will not shoot out until that gets turned off and that was something I needed to just kind of figure out. So boom um, as you can see right over here, I've already made some notations. Now that, um, now that that's all done, the question is how do we get it to work alongside of my DMX? So we'll leave this for now. We're going to switch over to my DMX. I'm going to just drag it over real fast. Cool. So first, you have your fixtures set up. For example purposes, I'm going to use the Geyser RGB. I created two or three different presets. Each one, you know, just color changes, just to prove a point. Um, if you have this program, you should be fairly familiar with how to set up different scenes. So now here's the uh, part that's important. You go to Live um, right over here. Um, and so what you're going to do is uh, right-click it. And then there's an option that says Learn MIDI. Once you click Learn MIDI, what it's going to do is, and let me hit Save so I don't need to do this again. You're going to hit Learn MIDI. And now it's waiting for a command. So, what you'll, go, what you'll do is you'll come over back to Logic. And basically, now that it's shooting out MIDI, um, all you need to do is assign one of these keys, and you can easily do that just by clicking it. And then that now whatever that particular light setting is, whenever you have that drawn on the uh, mini map over here, it will activate and vice versa. Uh, to give you a prime example of it running perfectly, because I don't want to change my uh, MIDI settings, we're going to hit abort. I'm going to drag this back. And I'm going to make this a little smaller so you can see better. Cool. So, everything works well. You'll see the changes happen because they've already learned the commands.
See what I mean? It's a fairly simple process. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. Um, I know I've been scratching my brain for months trying to figure out how to do this, and it just took me finding the right pieces of information and putting two and two together. Um, outside of that, you can feel free to check out just some of the music I have on my channel if you're interested in uh, what I do outside of uh, figuring this kind of stuff out. Once again, my name is Sholo Aurora, and thank you for your time, guys.